My name is Kathleen Natasha Roberts, K-A-T-H-L-E-E-N-N-A-T-A-S-H-A-R-O-B-E-R-T-S. Kathleen, would you like to tell me your problem? Well, basically, obviously the floods, and I actually lived in Bundaberg when the first floods came through and we lost a fair bit then, but we moved. I came down here to do schooling. My, ch- my family. And, and you're in Harvey Bay here. I'm in Harvey yeah. Bay now, yeah. My children were still living in Bundaberg and in the last floods, they actually lost their home, not through flood damage as such, but because the landlord needed the house to move into because where he was living was ruined. Okay. That's quite understandable. Yeah. They couldn't find anywhere because of the housing crisis. Yep. And it was like, it was, you know, they were just about to become homeless, so I put them up at my place in my garage because I'm not having my three-month-old grandson or any of my grandchildren living on the street. The day after they arrived, I and, had... And whereabouts do you live? I live at 36 Hayworth Street, Point Vernon, here in Harvey Bay. I rent it through Elders, and it's owned by a, a man named Clive Smith. Um... Basically, I had an inspection the day after they arrived and I said, my family are here at the moment, they've got nowhere to go, they're homeless, I'm putting them up until they can find a place. Sorry about the inconvenience, but their only other alternative is the street or the car. The real estate lady looked at me and said, oh yeah, okay, no worries. And the very next day, I got an eviction notice in the post with no reason. I rang the real estate and asked them why I was being evicted. And the only reason I was given was because that was the instructions to them from the owner. I have not been, you know, I've been behind in my rent once and I paid that immediately. And how long have you been there for? I've been there for 18 months, uh, maybe maybe just on two years because I believe this lease is my second one that's running out. I've got till midnight on the 29th of April to find a house. Through all the stress and the overcrowding and everything, I had three heart attacks a week ago. I'm. Did you end up in a hospital? Yes. Yes, I did. I had to have an angiogram, etc. I've only been out of hospital three days. And this is just so stressful, trying to find somewhere. I don't have a couple of thousand dollars to move. It's just been sprung on me as a huge shock. It's very worrying having to relocate myself, my flatmate and my granddaughter who's in my care. But I've got the added stress of what happens to my family. What's your best contact number? My phone number is 0431 582 630. What would you like to say to um, the Premier or the Prime Minister? This This is just not fair, you know? Like, I'm not a bad person. I don't do the wrong thing. I pay my bills. I'm asking for a basic human right, somewhere safe and secure, to live for myself and my family. Somewhere where I'm not going to be constantly freaking out that the stress is going to give me another heart attack and I'll die. 